in the fifth chapter of english language we'll study about pronouns what is a pronoun a pronoun is a word that we used instead of noun it is used to avoid repetition of nouns if we look to this sentence the beggar is old the beggar is hungry it in this sentence the beggar is coming twice so to avoid this we are using he and he is a pronoun we are using for the noun beggar the beggar is old he is hungry so here he is a pronoun in this chapter we'll study about kinds of pronoun first we'll look to personal pronoun what is a personal pronoun we use personal pronouns to refer to people places or things without actually naming them there are three groups of personal pronouns first person who is the first person the person who is speaking in the singular form when the first person is speaking in a singular form we use i mine my and me and in the plural form we use we ours are and us second person the person spoken to in both the forms singular and plural we use you and yours and in the third person who is the third per- third person the person spoken of in both the forms singular and plural we use in the singular form we use he she her him it its and in the plural form we use they them and theirs for example this is my book you are wrong she is a girl i have given both uh, all the three example first person second person and third person we use personal pronouns such as i he she it they we as subjects in a sentence we use personal pronouns such as me him her it you them us as objects in a sentence so now comes possessive pronouns possessive pronouns are used to show ownership belongingness or possession for example my mine hers yours ours etc if we look to these examples this car is mine this house is yours this dress is hers so they are showing the possession mine yours hers these pronouns are showing the possession or belongingness or ownership so these are called possessive pronouns possessive pronouns comes after the noun in a sentence if we look to relative pronouns another kind of pronoun relative pronouns relates to nouns before nouns which have gone before for example who whom that which whose whoever whomever whichever etc we use whom who whose with people which with animal or things that is used for things animals or people what refers to things only these relative pronouns can be used to join two sentences this is the book that i was looking for in this example that is a relative pronoun which is joining the two sentences now look to the second sentence 
that is the truck which hit the boy so which is a relative pronoun it is again joining the two sentences if we look towards the reflexive pronouns that is another type of or another kind of pronoun it represents the action performed by the subject and the effect is also on the subject itself we add self s e l f self with these pronouns my it becomes myself your it becomes yourself him it becomes himself it it becomes itself and this self we are using only with the singular form in case of plural form we use or we add selves to the words like are it becomes ourselves your it becomes yourselves them it becomes themselves for example i hurt myself i can see myself in the mirror they hurt themselves if these uh, reflexive pronouns they point back to the doer of the action this is very important to understand that they point back to the doer of the action in emphasizing pronouns you will find them similar to the reflexive pronouns but actually they are not similar they are different we are using self and selves here also but they are not pointing back to the doer of the action for example she herself opened the door the boys themselves painted the wall so she is a pronoun and herself is emphasizing pronoun emphasizing emphasizing towards she the boys themselves themselves is emphasizing pronoun it is emphasizing towards the noun boys now demonstrative pronouns demonstrative pronouns indicate the object that we are trying to describe or tell for example this that these and those are demonstrative pronoun, pronoun. for example this is my desk these are my things you can use this we use for things that are near these are for the things which are far off that we use for uh, closeness or you can see those things that are near and those for the things that are far off this that sorry this these that and those are demonstrative pronouns now we'll come to interrogative pronoun interrogative pronouns we use them to ask questions for example what is the date today which is your house what who which whose etc or whom are interrogative pronouns example whom did you see so whom is what interrogative pronoun indefinite pronoun if we look to this indefinite pronoun sometimes the pronouns used in a sentence do not refer to any particular thing or person they used in general way such pronouns are known as indefinite pronouns for example anyone no one none all nobody somebody someone anything everyone something everybody both any few several many some one either neither etc for example 
no one can help me is everybody out of station these are the some examples of indefinite pronouns so in this chapter we have studied about pronouns and the kinds of pronoun personal pronoun possessive pronoun relative pronoun reflexive pronoun emphasizing pronoun demonstrative pronoun interrogative pronoun and indefinite pronoun so according to the chapter i will upload some exercises in the pdf form to the whatsapp group do that in your classwork copies some exercises are from the book and some are not from the book but you have to do them in your classwork copies whatever assignment is given you have to do that in your classwork copies and do listen to the video understand the concept and do the work accordingly thank you very much